What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So today is Saturday the 16th of February. So this video is going to be a full day of eating for fat loss. As you guys know, I'm cutting. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I wanted to do one. Um, I started off at 195 pounds at the peak of my bulk. I'm now down as of this morning to 178.6 pounds, so it's a loss of just about 16.4 pounds, I think that's right. So what I'm going to do is just take you through my day, show you what I eat, I'm going to train, it's going to be fun. So I'll put my um, calories and macros up on the screen here. Started off at 2800 calories on at the start of the cut, doing cardio pretty much every session. Now I'm down to 2500, um, again doing it every session. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just sitting having an American coffee and um, doing some uni work. And I've got my lunch here, which is a prawn layered salad and this 85 calorie cut from Tesco, um, from a Tesco meal deal. Uh, I'll put the calories and macros for that screen over here. Um, yeah. So this morning I also had two brunch bars, so it's quite loud in here. I had two brunch bars and um, a whey, a 30 grams of whey protein. So um, adding the calories and macros together, I'll put my total calories and macros for the day here. So yeah, plenty to do. Usually what I do is I go train and then I do uni work. It's currently noon, but usually what happens is I tend to go train, go home, wait around a bit and do nothing and then I go to the library and I'm not as productive so I wanted to try this um, I've got two lit reviews due next week so I've got one done, I've got another one to do so I'm going to try and get a lot, bit more of that done there I'll probably stay, for, stay in the cafe for about an hour and a half before we go train we've got deadlifts um, so deadlifts and then a full pull uh, back and bicep session so yeah, it's going to be a fun day I'm going to try and do an edit with the deadlifts so it's been a while since I've done an edit and I want to challenge myself so yeah, let's get into it There we go, so dinner is four enchiladas from Tesco and 60 grams of whey protein. Uh, let's get set up. There we go. 
Right, so I'll put the calories and macros for this meal here. Um, so th the time now is quarter past six. I haven't eaten since about half twelve when I had that lunch you saw before um, the, the workout. I have just about 600, just over 600 calories left to hit the 2500. So this is something I've been doing quite a lot lately. Um, it's kind of my way that I find dieting easy is I tend to be hungry um, like start of the day so I always have breakfast and lunch um, and then I because I'm busy in the middle of the day from like 12 to like 5 I'm not really thinking about food I'm not that hungry so I always try and push back my a lot of my calories until the end of the day so for example I had only had about 800 calories by the time it was like half 12 and I didn't eat till now, so that's six o'clock. So I still have, I had, um, well, I don't know. I had a lot of calories. I have a lot of calories left because that's when I struggle. I think a lot of people are like that are like me, where they struggle to when it gets to the end of the day. They that's when they start to crave foods, and that's like me. I get more hungry towards the end of the day. So, you know, meal timing used to be this big thing where it's like if you eat at a certain time, you get you know you'll gain fat or whatever. But that's bullshit. Basically, it's just as simple. Whatever you eat in a day, you know, the total at the end of the day counts towards whether you'll gain fat, lose fat, whatever. Um, but in terms of meal timing, I see there is something to it. I take meal time as plan to have the most calories when you always feel the most hungry. So I know people who really feel hungry in the morning, so they have a lot of food then, but then they don't really feel hungry for like the rest of the day. You know, that's where, I set your meals around that to avoid you, you know, needing to binge or start eating a lot of crap. Um, probably just a little tip. And another thing is, so it's a Saturday night and I didn't really feel like cooking. It was later in the day, I don't really feel like cooking. I feel like for a lot of people, that becomes an excuse. It's like, oh, it was the weekend, you know, I fall off at the weekend because I can't be bored cooking. It's like, well, you can still go and buy something from a shop that isn't that bad. So, for example, these enchiladas are high in fat, but for the whole thing, these are six, so for four enchiladas, 600 calories, and you're getting 50 grams of protein and only 27.4 grams of fat. So realistically, it's not that bad. You like, you know, you, I, you can easily manage that in. Oh, sorry, 768 calories there, which again is like nothing. So you can still pick a better option. You don't use the fact you can't be bored cooking to suddenly go and get like a, a massive takeaway or a domino. It's like, come on, um, that's not an excuse. But yeah, let's let's try one of these. Cause look, I've had them before, but I can't remember what it tastes like. Jeez, this one's like melted. Oh, mm. yes, they're messy, but they're good. You know how much I love Mexican food. There's this thing on YouTube where, like, I know people just like watching people eat. It's quite weird. Anyway, yes, look at look at my hands. Uh, <laughs> I like my hair. God, I'm, even, I'm making ginger jokes now. Right, so I'm going to watch some YouTube videos, then do some more uni work, and I'll show you my last meal. Final meal of the day. Four of these 45 calorie Weight Watchers yogurts. These are absolutely amazing. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll be seeing these on my story all the time. Per um, pot, it's 5 grams of protein, which considering they're only 45 calories, is class. 100 grams of fruit and fibre cereal, a staple in my diet, cutting our bulking, and... 200 mils of skimmed milk. And the calories and macros for that meal are 631 calories, 101 grams of carbs, 6 grams of fat, and 36 grams of protein. So for today, we finish on 2,503 calories, 290 grams of carbs, 62 grams of fat, and 181 grams of protein. So we pretty much smashed it. A little bit over protein, but that's fine. Um, yeah, this cut's been really easy for me. Uh, the method for me is always to you know, right now I'm doing like 600 calories of cardio after each session, but it's because it's the last like week or two of the cut. Um, I started off just doing like 300 calories of cardio every session, bumped to the four, and then I just thought there's no, like I don't mind doing it, so I might as well just go for the full 40 minutes. And I do that after every session. The main reason I started doing cardio after every session right from the start is just because I, I wanted to improve my cardiovascular system after not doing any extra cardio during the bulk. But I'm happy with how I'm looking, I'm happy with how I'm feeling. 16.4 pounds down. Um, as of today, so like I say, it's been great. Um, only three, well, just about three more pounds to lose, and then I'll be 
at my goal of £20 lost, which should, I think I'll be done by the end of next week. I'll definitely be done by the start of March anyway. That's when we're back in a surplus, back to making strength gains, which I'm so excited for. But on the, um, in terms of how I like to diet, like, you can either, you know, decide to eat a bit more food but do the extra cardio like I do. I find that sustainable for me. Or you can simply just, like, I could just drop my calories down to, like, 2100, probably 2200 and not do the extra cardio and still lose fat but I just like doing the extra cardio just because it feels good and I don't mind it but just find what's sustainable for you and that's always the key aspect with fat, with fat loss. Find your method that works, stick with it and you'll be fine. But um, that's going to wrap us up for today guys and things are as always busy at the moment. Thank you to everyone that purchased a Black Up Performance um, hoodie uh, you know the launch was great can they there's still hoodies available on the website so if you do want to buy one just go check out the website and also congratulations to the giveaway winners I did a giveaway on my Instagram the first ever giveaway I've ever done and it, was, it, was, it felt nice to do that um, and just good to see people wearing it and enjoying the clothing another bit uh, online coaching spaces have opened up I've had a few online clients finish so if you want coaching if you want to get good results you know, you can check out, I always, you know, I said this is my last video, check out my Instagram, my coaching Instagram, check out my website, all that, check my client results, you can see what I can do for you. Yeah, but I hope you enjoyed the video, please leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.